One of the tests of greatness is to survive frustration. If anyone tells you that they haven't been frustrated in recent times, then maybe they are not living on this earth. But if you're frustrated, faithful and diligent and consistent, then I want to be your friend. My name is Todi, I'm a thought leader, which means I'm creative and conventional. And Do not try to put me in a box because I won't fit in. Yes, nowadays I get many people asking me, asking me to describe in one word what now Jim International is about. That I find very difficult. For me, it's like describing the world in one word. Beautiful, which may be meeting people's needs, but that's more than one word. And in the past, I've worked with different people in different capacities, in different fields. I've worked with languages because I speak French, German, Spanish, Russian. Yeah, my next stint is to Russia, but it's really difficult. <laughs> Some people think I'm very brilliant and that's because they wonder how can someone have so many skills? Project management, languages, in different... I've worked with the government, I've worked with health services, I've worked in the university. I do not like talking about myself a lot because it gives me a headache when people start quizzing me like, you mean you can? So um, I'll use this forum to just address all the questions and the doubts and I hope it helps a bit. Also, I work with Naojem International as a brand manager, which means that I am like the public relations officer. It doesn't mean I'm the only one working in Naojem International. It just means that I am the face of the company. So yes, you're going to be stuck with my face for a while. <laughs> oh yes, I'm representing everybody. I am someone that loves connecting people. I love singles, relationships, because I believe that when people meet, the opportunities are endless. And relationships are the basics for everything that's going to happen in your life or in our lives. Think about work, marriage, uh, just having fun, living. It's all based on relationships. So it's important we connect with the right people. So the reason why I'm so particular about the Christian aspect is because of what I represent. I was one of the pioneers of Christian dating online, especially on Facebook. I know many times I've wanted to opt out of it, but anything that goes on without you holding it in place of your own accord, usually means that there's a God behind it. Think of the world, think of the earth. Do you do anything super to wake up in the morning or to make the sun come out? That tells me there's a force behind it and the only force behind it is God. I'm a believer that everything that happens is either good or evil. I see life as a chess game between good and evil. The king pins are God and the devil. The pawns are you and I. And if you at any time think that it's all about you, if you think that the fact that you were picked up from the board is all about you, I beg to differ. It's not about you. It's about the good or the evil. It's about the king. It's about eventually who capitulates. So a lot of things happen to us human beings and we imagine, oh wow, it's all about me. No, it's like the ego. We don't understand the world, we're not going to understand ourselves. I understand the world from the perspective of God being a father. He's like an eagle. He watches over his little ones. Now, what happens sometimes when the eagle wants to train its kids? He throws them down from the top of the mountain and they just have to fly. Like Jacob, I've had my own bet. Because what happened with Jacob when he met with God? No, he was a fighter. And he fought and fought and fought. Whatever made Jacob say, I've been with the Lord and I did not die, was not a joke. Must have been something really serious. And that's the same thing that we all are brought to our knees in our areas of strength. Because until we understand that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong, especially if you call yourself a Christian. One thing that God makes sure is that he humbles us.
We were held in bondage, toiling down in Egypt's land. Glory to God, hallelujah. Of the God, our Hebrews rescued us from Pharaoh's hand. Glory to God, hallelujah. We will sing unto the Lord for his mighty victory. I will go back never more. Glory to God, hallelujah. Look, glory to God, hallelujah. Look, the Egyptians all are lying dead upon the shore. Glory to God, hallelujah. We will sing unto the Lord for his mighty victory. The sisters, hallelujah, through the sea we've crossed. Glory to God, hallelujah. All things that used to hold us are forever lost. Glory to God, hallelujah. We will sing unto the Lord for his mighty victory. For the rider and the horse he has cast into the sea. Of God on the earth will build it be. Glory to God, hallelujah. <laughs> Where the Hebrews now are standing on the sea of bliss. Glory to God, hallelujah. And we sing the song of Moses, everything we best. To God, hallelujah. We will sing unto the Lord for his mighty victory. For the rider in the horse he has cast into the sea. Now the dwelling place of God on the earth will build it be. Glory to God, hallelujah. Where the Hebrews now are standing on the sea. Hallelujah, and we sing the song of Moses, everything we fast. Glory to God, hallelujah. We will sing unto the Lord for his mighty victory. For the rider and the horse he has cast into the sea. Now the dwelling place of God on the earth will build it be. Glory to God, hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord for his mighty victory. For the rider and the horse he has cast into the sea. Now the dwelling place of God 